What's up guys, welcome back to the Antler Grow YouTube channel. Today, we're making a playlist series. Make sure you guys are subscribed and you click the bell uh, notification so you guys never miss a video. But in this little series of videos, it might be about four or five videos I'm gonna put together here. But I'm gonna explain to you exactly what Antler Grow is, how it works, how it can benefit you, how to mix it, and what you can spray it on. Today's topic, we're actually gonna just mainly talk about how you can actually mix it and actually what you use to spray with it. So Antler Grow is a liquid concentrate, comes in one gallon you know, jugs. That one gallon actually covers five acres. And you might say, what do you mean five acres? Well, five acres meaning food plots, natural browse. It's actually sprayed on anything that's green and growing. So the way you mix it is that the cap, the cap on the jug is actually one ounce. So it's always one ounce of product per gallon of water and that's on established plants established vegetation natural browse if it's something that's new like a food plot that's very tender and the plants are very young you just cut that back to a half ounce per gallon of water and because it's very very potent they take a granular mineral and turn it into a liquid concentrate with an added sticker and surfactant on it so it can't be washed off so that's why it's just very very potent but it's always one, pretty much always one ounce per gallon of water on established vegetation and food plots. Natural browse can actually handle you know, that potency a little bit more than bra uh, food plots be just because that browse is there all the time. It can handle that, that potency. But on new growth for food plots, they're just very tender. So on that new growth there, you just use a half ounce per gallon. Mainly, the way you mix it, you can go all the way from a little one gallon hand pump sprayer I've done it I still use a one gallon hand pump sprayer you don't need a lot but you can use a hand pump sprayer you can use a four gallon backpack sprayer you can use a 15 gallon ATV sprayer a 24 gallon ATV sprayer all the way to big rigs on uh, tractors you know big giant tanks all the way to a helicopter it doesn't matter anything that you you can use to spray my, myself, I like the four gallon backpack sprayer. I think it was last year I converted to the battery powered one. I like the battery powered one so you don't have to sit there and pump the backpack sprayer. And with the battery powered one, you can you know just pull the trigger and spray. You get a more even spray, more consistent spray. And then I feel like it just, that four gallons actually lasts a little bit longer because you do have that consistent spray. So any questions about the video guys on how to mix it, post them uh, down below. Make sure you guys are subscribed. I'll see you guys on the next video.